What's up guys? I'm going to unbox and review this new Wi-Fi 7 router by ASUS. This is the RT BE86U. I will do my full on speed test ratios with my following Wi-Fi devices. Let's go ahead and unbox this thing, see what it comes with. Stop having trouble, call us, some info right here, setup instructions right here. So we got the nice router, we got a bunch of LEDs, we got a bunch of vents, top, bottom, back. This is where the antennas go, so three antennas will go there. We got a reset button, power button, power on and off, four 2.5 gigabit ports. And for the ports, you can actually connect your internet to this, which is a 2.5 gig port, or to this, which is a 10 gig port. So I'm gonna connect mine to the 10 gig port because my internet speeds are five gigs up and down. We got a USB 3.0, we got a USB 2.0, we got the WPS button on this side, and we got the LED on and off button on this side right here. And on the bottom, we basically have some more vents, as you guys could see. So VIP, quick start guide, quick start guide. We got our three antennas right here. We got a Cat6 Ethernet cable right here. And we got the power supply, which is 100 to 240 volts, and it outputs 60 watts of power. To put the antennas, you just screw it on. And this is what it looks like with the antennas on, and you can move the antennas up and down, and you can spin them as well. So I had a chance to play with this thing. I've done all the speed test range tests. I have all those numbers right here. Again, tested with the following Wi-Fi 7 devices. And just as a heads up, I do happen to have the iPhone 16 Pro Max, which is a Wi-Fi 7 device. However, I can't get those crazy fast Wi-Fi 7 speeds out of this thing. Has nothing to do with this router. I've te tested this on the other Wi-Fi 7 routers. In fact, I've made a separate video on this phone versus these two phones just to show you guys the differences between the Wi-Fi 7 speeds. So I'll link that down below in case you guys are interested. Uh, with this one, with Ethernet connected devices, my internet speeds happen to be five gigabits per second upload and download. So if I plug it into the 10 gig port, it goes in at five, but as soon as I come out of the 2.5 to go to my computer, or any one of these 2.5s, doesn't matter, I'm actually capped at 2.5 gigabit speeds. So when I do a internet speed test, I do get those 2.5 gigabit speeds on my devices, two of my computers that can go up to 10 gigs, I actually do get those full 2.5 gigs because it's coming out of this. So what's the main advantage of having a 10 gig port if you're coming out on 2.5? Well, the main advantage with this one, as far as I can tell, is that you can actually create a 10 gig LAN out of this thing. So what I could have done is I could have connected my internet source to the 2.5 and then from the 10 gig, I could have gone to my 10 gig switch and created a 10 gig LAN out of it. Or if I got another one of these ASUSes, uh, if I got the same one that supports AI mesh, I can create a mesh network and connect this 10 gig to that 10 gig port on the other one. Or I can go from this 10 gig to a 10 gig switch, then from that 10 gig switch to the other uh, 10 gig router. So the main advantage, as far as I can tell, of having a 10 gig, a single 10 gig, is to actually have another. Uh, to basically create a 10 gig uh, LAN out of this thing. Now, if you're looking for a more BC router that has the two 10 gig ports and faster Wi-Fi, I would recommend the ASUS RTB96U and the ASUS GTB98 Pro, which both I've reviewed. I'll leave links in the description box below for those videos. Anyways, getting back to this, my internet speeds are five gigs up and down. No matter how fast the router is, you are limited by your internet speeds, unless of course the router itself is actually capping those speeds. So. In my case, this one is on the secondary port when it comes out to go to my computer. Again, when I do an ethernet speed test, I get those 2.5 gig speeds. I'm no longer getting those five gig speeds. Continuing with the internet speed test with the Wi-Fi 7 devices, we got 1963 down and 1451 up. So very fast speeds considering this is a dual band unit, but not quite as fast as the ethernet, obviously. Now to find the true performance of this router, I need to do a local speed test server. So I make my computer into the server and I go from Wi-Fi device to router to computer. This way I isolate the router. I'm no longer relying on the public speed test server, nor my ISP, my internet service provider. So looking at these speeds, there is an improvement. So we got 2.14 down and we got 1.76 up. So definitely an improvement there in speeds. Next, we get into range test. Now range will vary drastically by location. If you're in between floors, if you have a lot of thick walls, if you have concrete walls, if you're in a building with a lot of other routers around and a lot of walls, all of this stuff can negatively impact your range. Essentially, the more of an open area you're in, typically the better range you're going to get. So at my place, at 20 feet away inside my place, 
I got hardly a drop for the download speed. Well, I mean, there was a drop about like 200, but still getting really, really fast. Uh, but the major drop was the upload speed. So 1292 up. At 50 feet, this is when I'm outside my place and there's definitely a drop here, but still getting some very fast speed at 1.3 down and 837 up. And at 100 feet across the street, still getting some very usable speeds at just around almost 500 down and around 351 up. So next we get to the ASUS app and the beauty with the ASUS is they have a lot of options. And the besides that, even more importantly, their stuff is included in the price. So you don't need to pay extra for parental controls. It comes included with that. You don't need to pay extra for additional protections. It comes included with that. So there's a lot of stuff other than super, super customization that just comes included in the price. So that's really one of the main beauties of getting an ASUS system. And if you want to make different SSIDs, you can. So that's the other cool thing that ASUS started doing recently is that, well, it's been more than recently. It's probably been about six months to a year or something like that that they've been doing this. Uh, but basically with this router, what you could do, and with other ASUS routers that I've seen, not just with this one, um, for the SSIDs, which are the Wi-Fi names, you could pick se several different ones. So the way the Wi-Fi 7 one's set up is that the main network becomes your Wi-Fi 7 network. So really, Wi-Fi 7 devices connect to that one. And then it creates a secondary IoT network, Internet of Things. What I like to do is remove that IoT network and just make a guest network that has access to my intranet. And, and with that, my IoT devices connect to that as long as along with my other uh, Wi-Fi devices as well. So my streaming devices connect to that. So I basically have two main networks and then I create a third guest network. So I typically run this with three different SSIDs and then all my speed tests I do by connecting to the main faster Wi-Fi 7 network. So the other cool thing that you could do with this is that for each of the SSIDs, you can actually make a separate VPN option. So if you wanted to connect to that SSID, you can have the VPN enabled for that one. And whatever connects to that one goes through a VPN, which is great. You can make a separate kids network Wi-Fi name. So you can actually limit that network by itself. So let's say your kids devices, let's say they have Chromebooks and which my kids do. And basically my kids Chromebooks can connect to the kids SSID. And then I could just limit that. I could just set a schedule for that. And then it could just turn off after a certain period of time. So Asus really does a phenomenal job of doing that. Um, just generally speaking, which I really, really like. Now, with all that said, is it worth getting this thing? Why or why not? Well, first of all, I would say this is a great router for anyone with internet speeds of up to 2.5 gigabits. That way you're not capped. That way you have four 2.5 gigabit ports and you have a 10 gigabit port as well. So basically at minimum, you technically have at least five ports that can do 2.5 gigabits. So I like that from that aspect. And I also really like the fact that ASUS gives you a bunch of options that are included in the price. I also like the fact that it supports AI mesh and it's kind of future proofing in a way as well because assuming you get this router and three, four years later you want to get another router, let's say if you get an ASUS router, assuming it supports AI mesh, which I don't see why it wouldn't as of now, um, you could just get the new one, use the new one as your main one, then use this one as an extender. Or if you already have an existing ASUS router, you could use, if this one is better, typically you want to use the better one as your primary router. So there's a lot of advantages with this. Uh, but again, main reason, up to 2.5 gigabit speeds, you get a lot of options, a lot of customizations, a lot of SSIDs. You can separate out the 2.4, you can separate out the 5 gigahertz, all that stuff, all of that can be done. So with that, let me know what you guys think in the comment section as well. Do you guys like this router? Have you guys tried it out? Are you considering getting one? Do you already have an ASUS router and you're considering getting another one to create a mesh network out of it? Let me know what you guys think in the comment sections below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.